Hi, this is Survive from Scrappy Media, and today I am going to create a card, a watercolor card, and this is just 140 pounds of watercolor paper. And I bought a big um, box of um, cards with envelope uh, that are blank and they're watercolors. So I'll put the link for this item if you're interested. I'm also going to be using this Koi watercolor pocket sketchbook. And I got this uh, in a store that, you know, was going out of business. So I went ahead and got this little set for $16. And I want to try it out. It comes with this little brush. And I also have the Jane Davenport little paintbrush as well. So I'm just going to do a very loose watercolor um, painting here. So how I create my roses, it's my loose roses, is I just go, pretend there's a circle, and I go around the circle with some clear water, and I just make like an oval, skinny oval shape. And then I drop color, and I let the color move wherever it wants to move. And what that, the result of that is that it makes my petals have some low lights in and highlights. It's really simple. Then here I'm just taking some more clear water and I'm actually squeezing my brush, my water water brush, and just dropping some more colors in some of those areas. And this flower, the reason why I, I made one of the buds larger on top is because that flower is going to be like facing uh, on an angle. I'm putting some more loose flowers around and now I'm ready to start creating my leaves. So my leaves are just little um, droplets or drops, drop shapes can see there and I'm putting various colors of green and that gives you your pick your your image a little more um, livelihood than just making it one solid color you want the variation and you want it lighter and darker and then here I'm sorry I apologize that I'm in the way I, you can't see what I'm doing but basically I'm just creating leaves I make two oval shapes and and just make it like a, a droplet a drop shape and just adding some more foliage and that really fills out really nicely this this image I like this water pen because it does have a fine tip and see how when I create those leaves it really gives me control and I can really make a nice little oval shape. So for my center I basically just took a little bit of black, a little bit of green, made a very dark green and just placed those little dots in the center using my uh, Jane Davenport um, watercolor brush and just adding a little more color at the edges of this flower because that's going to be my focal flower and one thing that I'm not very good and not very skillful is with preserving the white so I just took some of this white watercolor paint and just add a little bit of highlights in some of the areas which I thought looked good and then I'm creating a butterfly. I thought it needed something, so this is my little butterfly at an angle. And I'm done with this card. So I'm just peeling off the tape. And you can reuse this tape. So I usually just put it on the side and then when I'm creating a lot of paintings, I just reuse the tape. It'll re-stick. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and find a saying. It actually needs to dry a little more. 
So let me go ahead and dry this a little more and then we'll do some accents and I'm going to stamp a phrase and then I shall be back. Okay, so now that this is dry, I feel like I need to put, I think I'm going to put something in here similar to this so that way it matches. So the envelope is also watercolor paper. It comes with the whole kit. So if you buy these envelopes and card watercolor blanks, and I'll put the link from Amazon where I got this, you get a hundred and it's not such, it's a good price. Then I'm going to do the same thing, put flowers on the two opposite corner here because I thought that will just make the, the card just match pretty nicely with the in, inside. And I'm doing the same thing starting with some clear color or clear water and then adding dropping some color on the edges or on the flowers. And I, I apologize for my hands are very inky. I've been doing a lot of painting, a lot of watercolor um, on my art journal. So my hands just is filled with ink because I also was using acrylic and I was using um, just regular um, ink. So I'm going to do the same thing at the, on the opposite side because it draws your eyes to the top and the bottom. You can probably mail this out because uh, as long as you don't cover the whole top left side, you can easily put a little bit of a sticky um, sticker there with the address and it will work fine. So the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to use my Spellbinder for Glimmer Foil. I don't have a the, the Spellbinder Glimmer um, machine. I just have the um, Foil and Go, but it works great. It, it, it does the same thing. So whatever machine you have, even if you have the um, Crafter Companion machine, it will work very nicely with these dies. So I bought this at Amazon, so I'll put the link for this. And I love these little banners. They're great for putting that little sentiment on your card, especially you don't want to have a big sentiment and distract from your whole artwork. You just want a small little sentiment to really um, make your card pop. So I went ahead and put my foil. So I'm using some hot foil that I bought at Amazon, this big old roll. I'm using my Evolution. It is on letterpress to the thickest side. I think I need to put it on number 8. Let's put it on number 8. So, it's on number 8. I'm going to have two cardstock. Going to let it heat up really good. So see, it, it's... um flashing I'm going to put my black cardstock on there black cardstock nice smooth cardstock and you want to put it with the foil down Okay. I'm going to pull it out. Actually, I need to put this on. Put my two shims. It's about 140 pound cardstock for my shims. And it's too thick, so let's bring it up to number four. And very slowly you're gonna run it through and I think it needs to be I'm gonna let it run out let's do it number seven let me run it again okay. 
very slowly. So I have it at number seven, two pieces of cardstock. Put it back on. Let's see. You have to experiment with your machine. So there, it looks like it did a nice impression. And there. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead. And now I'm going to run it through with my plate. Let me get another plate. Let's see, this plate. I'm going to use this. Put a little tape on there. Let's see. Bring it back. Make sure I cut it. Yep, I cut it perfectly. That's why I like with my evolution because I can use any kind of plates I want, and it was it works. You just gotta dial it up or down depending on your plates. And let me go ahead and bring over, it's nice and dry now, and we'll put that right there. So let me get some tape to put that on there. There you have a very simple card that you made yourself combined with the envelope and look how pretty that looks. And you can even, if you want, you can go ahead and put even some accents with a pen. You can go ahead and like draw on it, but I don't want to, well, let me draw some of uh, this and that's pretty much it. So there's my card. See, it's a very simple little card. You write your sentiment in the middle, and that's it. So I hope you like this video, and thank you for watching. Bye now.